The Porsche Cayenne Turbo, introduced in 2003, was the vector for a contagion that has since spread to the farthest reaches of the automotive universe. The 1992 GMC Typhoon may have been the first diagnosed case of this high-performance SUV virus, but now even Ferrari is running a fever. Symptoms can include weight gain, swelling of underhood forces, elevated profit margins, and thinning of a brand's heritage. While the 2017 Kylan is still frothing mad in Turbo S form, the Porsche's overhaul for 2019 with Stuttgart's latest infection means this could be our last checkup with the current model. The arrival of our Kylan Turbo S test car was timely since we had just revisited the BMW X5 M, the Porsche's chief rival that is due for a refresh of its own soon, despite base prices some $60,000 apart. These two are very similar both in mission and execution. This second-gen Kylan debuted for the 2011 model year. The Turbo S was last updated to its current state of tune for 2016, which we've previously sampled in both Germany and Sweden. But this is the first time we've been able to affix our testing equipment to one. One sick patient. Like the Bimmer. The Porsche's gutsy 4.8-liter V8 employs a pair of turbochargers to produce its maximum 570 horsepower and 590 pounds to foot of torque, topping the X5M's 4.4-liter by a mere 3 horses but a more substantial 37 pounds to foot. The 2017 model betters the 2014 Turbo S we last tested by 20 ponies and 37 pounds to foot, and thanks to our test car's $3,210 variable performance exhaust, that immense power is accompanied by a guttural V8 bellow that sounds pleasingly healthy in all the ways the X5M synthetic murmur does not. The top spec Kylan also features a masterfully tuned 8 speed automatic transmission, an advanced all wheel drive system, and the Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus PTV Plus, system, which apportions thrust between the rear wheels via individual brake applications and an electronically controlled differential. And you can't miss the Turbo S's standard carbon ceramic stoppers, which cost $8,840 on Lesser Ken. Their hulking calipers, housing no fewer than 10 pistons each, in front and 4 each in back, wrap around the massive 16.5-inch front and 14.6-inch rear rotors like bright yellow growths. Despite some initial squishiness to the Porsche's brake pedal, their bite is strong and easy to modulate, with none of the squeaking and jerkiness that plagued the early days of carbon ceramic brakes.